there! This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Wednesday, September the 15th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. And I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. of It will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Got in the deck for the collective. Spirit. First card out, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. See the ravens flying overhead? Ten of Swords. This is like being stabbed in the back ten times. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten of Swords means the end of a very painful cycle. But the good thing about the Ten of Swords is it is the end of this journey and you will be starting a new journey. So it won't get any more painful. It's going to get better off from here on in. What is crossing this? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Coins. Aces are all about new. New money. A new job, a raise, a promotion. Money from a side project. Inheritance. New money. What is consciously known? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Doris Virgo Capricorn. See, she's at her desk and she's working. Pentacles all around. This is working at your job, working hard, making your money. Unconscious. Nine Cups. Nine Cups of Love, Self Worth, Self Esteem. Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. Um, this is emotional independence. This is being single because you know you deserve someone just as great as you. You're not going to settle. This is the energy you have to be in to attract your person. Nine of Cups, self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Recent past. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Cups are water energy. Six of Cups means happiness, joy, um, puppy love, uh, remembering the past, nostalgic. As you can see here, there's a boy and a puppy. They grow up to a dog and a young man. Uh, remembering um, happier times in the past. Cups of Water Energy, Cancer, Spacey, Scorpio. Near Future. The High Priestess. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is Divine Feminine. The High Priestess is Independent. The High Priestess is Intuitive. She's Empathic. She knows how to figure people out. Some decks she has Black Cat and Crystal Ball Tarot Cards. The High Priestess. She is Divine Feminine as well. Where do you find yourself? The moon, Pisces energy. The moon talks about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and possibly these things coming up to the surface. There is a black wolf and a white wolf howling at the moon. Secrets, lies, secrets, deceptions, lot of masks. External influences, two of swords, two of swords. See the sword, she has a blindfold on. The swords are pulling, or the ravens are pulling at her hair. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do call this my Libra card. Libra, I am a Libra, so I can say this. Um, we are quite indecisive. We have a really, really hard time making a decision and it takes us a while. Two of Swords to me involves making a decision to cut something or someone out of your life. Oh, 
hopes and or fears. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Four of Cups talks about being sad, apathetic, hurt, heartbreak, heartbroken. There's these three cups here, and they are spilling, which makes her sad. But there is this cup over here that Source is trying to give her, Source Spirit. I call this the cup of self-love. If your if your cups have spilled, you need to remember that uh, self-love is going to find you a person. You need to love you need to love yourself first. Because if you love yourself first, you get into the Nine of Cups energy. Overall outcome. Nine of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. The Nine of Wands. It's called the Wounded Warrior. This person is tired. They've been fighting through a lot. Um, yeah, been through the battle expecting more of the same. But she still has a wand. And she will overcome all of her obstacles. Justice, the Libra card, Libra card. Justice talks about um, getting what you deserve. Uh, this could be a court case that you will win. Um, possibly a, a divorce. Um, I don't know, child support. Um, but there is, this is the Libra scales, but there is a sword here. And her reflection is a little bit different than what she really looks like. So this could also be cutting someone or something out of your life with that Libra sword. King of Wands, the King of Passion. Wands are fire energy. There is the Sagittarius. The King of Passion. He's good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, exciting, sexy, sensual, sexual. The King of Passion. I always think this is a Leo card because <coughs> of the lion. The Knight of Passion. Oh, and we got the Queen of Passion. Power couple right here. Queen of Passion. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See her wand there. See his wand. <clears throat> and she's got fire coming out of her hand. This person is good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy, exciting, sensual, sexual. She got there her black cat there. She got candles. Queen of Wands, Queen of Passion. Seven of Wands. I also think this card is um fighting through obstacles. Um you can see her heart beating there but this is kind of a, a more inactive card than the nine of wands it's more um it's more mental than actually fighting it is more mental obstacles are coming through coming at you sure yeah and you are able to get through the obstacles but you get through it from uh, your mental well-being so the obstacles are usually mental and you need to figure your way out out of them through your mind. Seven of Wands. Wands are fire energy, air is the Sagittarius. The wheel. The wheel. The wheel is spinning in an upward direction. Huh. Huh. I don't yeah, I'm, I don't get this very often with this card. But um, are you maybe looking for a vehicle? Or did you just buy a vehicle? I know that's a chariot card, but sometimes when the wheel comes up, I, that comes in my head. Um, the Wheel of Fortune talks about the wheel spinning in an upward direction, being a positive omen, and moving. Wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. I like it. You had Ace of Money. 
Eight of money. Nine cups, self-work, self-love, self-esteem. High priestess, figuring people out. Secrets and deceptions. They, they Pisces energy. This is why the secrets are coming to light. Got to cut someone out of your life. Take the cup, source is offering you. The king and queen of wand, of caution. The wheel of fortune. Wheel spinning in an upward direction. Moonology cards. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Bottom of the deck, it's time to take action. Full moon in Aries. So, communication is key. Work through your fears. It's time to take action. You got money. King and queen of passion. Wheel of fortune. And nine of cups. Where's my nine of cups? Nine of cups. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. All right. Have a good day. I will talk to you tomorrow. This has been Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Bye for now.